You basically you make art and designs through stitching. Yes. So I was originally drawing and painting, and I was the, the classic starving artist. And I just was like, maybe I should make art that has function. So I started putting uh, art on candles, and which are kind of heavy and fragile. And so then I was like, okay, I'll do shirts. So I was just like, well, it's been done a lot, and the, it just seemed very real to put the design with using thread. And uh, at first, it was I just was doing these shirts. Uh, of course, this is more of an advanced design for me because uh, before I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like literally just going off randomly in some sort of abstract direction, which is kind of how I drew. I always drew abstract art, and it wasn't until I started sewing that I started doing more realism. Um, and then uh, someone suggested I do a, make a patch, and I'm like, why would I ever make a patch? There's like why would, who wants patches? And, uh, but I, I tried a couple and I realized that uh, when you do a, like you do a shirt, a, not a t-shirt per se, but let's just say you, you got this really nice collared shirt that you, you spent a decent amount of money on. It's like an expensive canvas. And uh, you, when you want to do a design with an expensive canvas, I think it's kind of, it can be kind of intimidating. You know, you just spent, say you just spent like, all this time making this really large canvas, it's super huge. You're like, okay, I'm gonna make some art that's, uh, it's gotta be good because it's on this big canvas. Uh, so the idea is you wanna, you wanna use something, maybe an idea that you've done, done that's more tried and true. Uh, so when you just make a small little patch on a piece of fabric that's like a little scrap, it's very unintimidating. And, and thusly, the ideas were very uh, forthright. I was just like, okay, I'll try this. I'll try. Why not try this? this? This is a little scrap of fabric. And this was huge breakthrough because now I could just do whatever I wanted to instead of knowing that I was making a product on, an, on a shirt or something. And I guess you can, through the sewing, you can iterate much more. You can, it, or you could like go in loops and like try and retry and right. take out and go out it again. Yeah, you can make mistakes. You, there's the freedom to do anything you want. Um, so then... Uh, then there was this always in the back of my mind, I'm like, I should make this portable so people can see what uh, is happening. Rather than just showing them the finished product, I should show them, like, I should show them how it's actually happening. And then that opened up, so I made this portable sewing machine table, and... Shall we go over and have a look at it? Oh, yeah, let's have a look at it. Here it is, the, uh, the sewing, so, the solar sewing rover. And what made you come up with the... What made you come up with this? Well, uh, like I said, I wanted to have it be portable, so not only I could get work done on the spot, but show people how it was done, and which opened up the idea that I could also, um, here, I'm gonna flip the page for you. I could also uh, uh, make pa custom patches for people on the spot. So now I was just like, hey, what can I sew for you? And this opened up even more now, instead of making my own patches and my own inventory, my own designs, now, 99% of the time, I make new works all day. I'm just making brand new pieces of art, that, things I've never thought of all day. And my inventory consists of a whole bunch of blank squares of fabric, rather than a whole bunch of my own designs. Which, I mean, I, I like doing my own stuff. Um, I like doing these larger pieces. This is like... Uh, one that I just uh, did over the summer last year. I see a lot of people when I sew out here with my portable sewing machine, so I always, it's to, I have to sort of demo what I do, and I feel like one of the best things to do is these little faces, because then people can really, uh, maybe, you know, they feel akin to the the faces because they can see what's happening opposed to there's like one I've been working on this is like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna find it right now yes this is the one I was doing yesterday this is not one that you would want to demo because it's very abstract and kind of boring at, at least at this point and no one really wants to see this because they're like I can't even some woman came up to me and says I don't see the pattern what, what are you doing it's like it just causes such confusion in people to do this but this is more like truer to my original art form and, and I, I think in the end 
people will be like, wow, this is pretty good, I hope, um, opposed to like this has more immediate response, more people can be like, oh, this is, this is, I can see the pattern, I can see what's happening. So it's, I, I, I like to do these faces when I'm in crowds. Um, maybe that's, I'm not sure I'll do it today, but uh, well, thank that's you why so I have much. so many What's of these. What's your name? Paul Nosa, Paul Nosa. or P. Nosa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you.